Is it an alien ship, a comet? Scientists and researchers are left puzzled. The universe is not neutral, it is actively hostile. That is the chilling statement at the heart of an emergency NASA meeting happening right now. They've just witnessed the impossible. 3i Atlas, a comet from another star system, was violently taken out mid-flight. The supposed comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists. It wasn't a collision. It wasn't the sun. The evidence points to something far more disturbing, something that acted with precision and power. But here's the detail that has everyone losing their minds. The energy signature of the event doesn't match anything in our physics books, suggesting we're not just dealing with aliens, but something far stranger. The silent ambush. The first alert screamed across the deep space network without warning. On screens at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, the data stream from the probes monitoring 3i Atlas turned from calm, predictable telemetry to pure, unadulterated chaos. For months, this celestial traveler, only the third interstellar object ever confirmed to enter our solar system, had been a source of immense excitement. It was a pristine messenger from another star system, a half-mile wide chunk of ice and rock speeding through our cosmic neighborhood at over 100,000 miles per hour. Scientists were ecstatic, hoping it would unlock secrets about planetary formation light years away. But in the span of just a few seconds, that excitement curdled into disbelief and fear. An energy spike, massive and instantaneous, flooded the sensors. It wasn't like a solar flare which builds and crests. This was a sudden, violent flash, like a cosmic flashbulb going off in the void. Immediately following the spike, the comet's velocity plummeted in a way that defied physics. Then, the real horror unfolded on the long-range imagers. The comet's magnificent tail, a glowing green and blue streamer stretching for hundreds of thousands of miles, simply came apart. It didn't fade. It was shredded, disintegrating into a messy, chaotic cloud of dust and gas. The most shocking fact is that this wasn't a gradual breakup caused by the sun's heat or the gravitational pull of a planet. 3i Atlas was nearly 400 million miles from Earth, far beyond the orbit of Mars, in a relatively quiet and stable region of space. This was a destructive, external intervention, an ambush. Within minutes, the multiple probes observing the object went silent, not one by one, but all at once. One moment, they were sending back perfect data on the comet's composition. The next, there was nothing but static. It was a complete and total blackout. You see, what happened defied every known model of natural celestial events. Astronomers have seen comets break apart before. Comet Shoemaker Levy 9, for instance, was famously torn to pieces by Jupiter's immense gravity in the 1990s. But that was a slow, predictable process. This was an execution. The energy released was calculated to be equivalent to thousands of megatons of TNT, a staggering amount of force. Yet, there was no detectable source, no rogue planet, no passing star, and certainly no asteroid big enough to do that kind of damage that hadn't been tracked for years. The void around 3i Atlas was, for all intents and purposes, empty. What many overlooked in the initial panic was the sheer precision of the event. The comet's solid nucleus wasn't just cracked, it was pulverized. Later analysis of the fragmented light pattern showed that the core had been blown outward from a central point, suggesting an incredibly focused impact or energy burst. The likelihood of a random collision with an untracked object of sufficient size and speed to cause this, and then for that object to completely vanish, is statistically zero. To put it mildly, it was an impossible event. A cosmic magic trick with the most brutal of endings, leaving behind a ghost of a comet and a mystery that sent shockwaves all the way back to Earth. The questions were immediate and terrifying. What could move that fast, hit that hard, and leave no trace? Clues in the chaos. The mystery of the three I Atlas event deepened with every new piece of data analyzed. Scientists are, by nature, obsessed with finding natural explanations for cosmic phenomena. Interstellar objects are particularly fascinating because they offer a rare chance to study material from outside our solar bubble. The first one, Oumuamua, was a bizarre cigar-shaped object that accelerated in a way that baffled everyone, leading to wild theories before a plausible, if not universally accepted, explanation involving a nitrogen iceberg was proposed. But 3i Atlas was different. It was behaving exactly like a comet should, outgassing and displaying a beautiful tail. It was a textbook example of a visitor from another star, right up until the moment it was annihilated. What sets this incident apart is the complete lack of a cause. The thing nobody tells you is that our sky-watching capabilities are astonishingly powerful. 
between orbital observatories like the Hubble and James Webb Space Telescopes and ground-based radar systems, we can track objects as small as a softball in Earth's orbit. For an object to deliver such a catastrophic blow and remain completely unseen before, during, and after, the event suggests one of two terrifying possibilities. Either it was a natural phenomenon so exotic it operates outside our current understanding of physics, or it was something deliberately designed to be undetectable. Both options are deeply unsettling. Every conventional theory was examined and discarded. Could it have been an internal explosion, a buildup of volatile gases under the surface? Unlikely. That would have produced a very different debris pattern and a distinct thermal signature. Could it have been a collision with a cloud of dark matter? It's a popular sci-fi trope, but scientists have no evidence that dark matter interacts in such a violent, concentrated way. A primordial micro-black hole, no bigger than an atom but with the mass of a mountain? The trajectory and the lack of any gravitational lensing effect make this a near impossibility. Each natural explanation ran into the same brick wall. The evidence just wasn't there. Many people are crazy about the idea that this was an act of an extraterrestrial intelligence. Normally, such talk is dismissed by the scientific community, but the circumstances here are forcing even the most skeptical minds to consider it. The focused nature of the destruction, the immense energy deployed with surgical precision, and the stealthy nature of the attacker feel more like a deliberate act than a random cosmic accident. It wasn't like a shotgun blast. It was like a sniper shot. There were no stray particles, no electromagnetic wake, no residual radiation, beyond what was expected from the vaporized comet itself. It's as if whatever struck 3i Atlas simply ceased to exist after the fact, leaving only the wreckage as its calling card. This single event has forced us to confront a profound and uncomfortable question. What if the universe isn't just governed by predictable natural laws? What many overlooked is that our entire framework for planetary defense is based on detecting and tracking things we can see. Big, dumb rocks moving in predictable orbits. We spend billions of dollars on systems designed to spot an incoming asteroid years in advance. But this incident suggests there's a whole other class of threat out there, one that is invisible, undetectable, and impossibly powerful. It's a threat that renders our entire planetary defense strategy obsolete. The problem isn't just about a dead comet, it's about the weapon that destroyed it and who might be wielding it. The day security died. The emergency meeting at NASA headquarters was a scene of controlled chaos. The room, usually a place of calm, methodical debate, was thick with tension. Director Thorne, known for her unshakable composure, looked pale. On the main screen, a looping simulation showed the final moments of 3i Atlas, a serene blue dot, then a violent white flash, then a rapidly expanding cloud of debris. The stark simplicity of it was horrifying. We are functionally blind, she stated, her voice tight. The words hung in the room, an admission of failure on a scale no one had ever anticipated. This wasn't about a budget shortfall or a rocket malfunction. This was about a fundamental gap in their knowledge of the universe. The brightest minds in astrophysics, engineering, and planetary defense were present, but their collective genius was stalled. You see, their expertise is built on a foundation of known physics, on the principles of gravity, motion, and radiation. The 3 I Atlas incident had ripped that foundation away. Every proposal was met with a grim reality. Can we send a probe to the debris field? One scientist asked. The answer, yes, but it would take years to get there. By then, the critical evidence would be scattered across millions of miles of space, a cosmic needle in an infinite haystack. What about reanalyzing old data from every telescope we have? Teams were already on it, scouring petabytes of information for any flicker or anomaly in the moments leading up to the event. But they all knew it was a long shot. If Hubble and Webb saw nothing, the chances of finding a clue were slim. The most shocking fact is that our entire multi-billion dollar planetary defense initiative is designed to counter threats we can see coming. The DART mission, for example, was a spectacular success, proving we could alter an asteroid's path by hitting it with a spacecraft. But how do you hit something that has no physical presence until the moment of impact? The meeting wasn't about finding a solution, it was about grappling with the terrifying scope of the problem. They were like castle guards, who had spent centuries building walls, only to discover their enemy could teleport. This event exposed a critical vulnerability. Our technology, as advanced as it is, is fundamentally passive. Telescopes wait for light to arrive. Radar waits for a signal to bounce back. What many overlooked is that these systems assume a threat will play by the rules, that it will reflect light or emit radiation. Whatever destroyed 3i Atlas didn't follow the rules. The threat isn't just a rogue asteroid on a collision course with Earth. 
the threat could be an invisible, undetectable force that could appear anywhere, at any time, without any warning. The discussion shifted from the what to the what if. What if 3i Atlas was a test, a demonstration of power, or worse, what if it was simply target practice and the real target was something, or someone, the silence in the room was heavier than gravity. To put it mildly, the men and women responsible for protecting the planet had just been shown that they were powerless. The urgent task now wasn't just to solve the mystery of one comet's demise, but to prepare for a new cosmic reality where humanity was no longer the sole master of its own destiny. The meeting ended not with a plan, but with a terrifying unspoken question hanging in the air. Are we next? What lurks in the darkness? The destruction of 3i Atlas has pushed humanity into a new and far more frightening cosmic age. For our entire history, we have looked up at the stars with a sense of wonder, tempered by the knowledge that the universe is largely empty and indifferent. That indifference was a comfort. It meant that while we were alone, we were also safe from any external, intelligent interference. That comfort is now gone. The event has moved the conversation from the scientific fringe directly into the heart of global security. The possibilities being discussed in hushed tones are no longer just the domain of science fiction. People watching this are looking for a mystery, and the truth is, the possibilities are as vast as they are terrifying. Could this be the work of an incredibly advanced civilization? A galactic patrol that enforces some unknown cosmic law? Perhaps 3i Atlas, for reasons we can't comprehend, was deemed a threat and was eliminated. Or maybe it was something even stranger. What if there are life forms in the universe that are not biological, but exist as pure energy or in dimensions we cannot perceive? Such a being could interact with our physical world in ways that would appear to us as a violation of physics. The thing is, when you have an event with no natural explanation, you must be willing to consider every unnatural one, no matter how unsettling. This incident also forces a brutal re-evaluation of our ambitions in space. We are on the cusp of becoming a multi-planetary species, with plans for permanent bases on the Moon and missions to Mars. What many overlooked is that all of these plans are built on the assumption that the path between worlds is safe, navigable, and empty, save for predictable radiation and the occasional micrometeoroid. How can we, in good conscience, send astronauts on years-long journeys into deep space if they could be ambushed by an undetectable force? The psychological impact on future explorers would be immense. Every sensor glitch, every shadow, would become a source of paranoia and terror. The great void between planets is no longer just empty. It's potentially a hunting ground. So, is all this true? Did this happen overnight? Are we missing a key detail? The evidence, as it stands, points to a conclusion that is hard to swallow. Something with extraordinary power and technology acted within our solar system, and we were completely unaware of it until after the fact. We are no longer just looking for life. We are now looking for threats. Was this a warning shot or just the beginning? Let us know your thoughts below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.